Well, greetings, 20, 20th century students. It's your friendly Mr. Hansen speaking. Hey, uh, you obviously noticed that I'm not here today. Um, so just to get the cat out of the bag, my wife tested positive for COVID um, yesterday afternoon. And I found out about it right as the school day was ending. So yeah, that's what's happening in my neck of the woods. Um, but now I have to speak through a screen. Um, so let's talk about what you need to do today. Um, one is check the chance points on the board. Yes, you lose again, and it's the Great Depression. So make sure you update your balance sheets um, right away on your iPad. So stop what you're doing. Open your open your balance sheet on your iPad and put in your negative points in chance. Um, so I also want to remind you that if you're missing DBQs or any other um, things from this first quarter that you want to get done, remember I will be entering grades uh, this Friday, um, which for you is tomorrow. And... Um, you need to get some things in if you're if you're behind, so I can give you the best grade possible for quarter one. Um, I'm going to show you uh, a couple other things here today, but also remember that 30s optionals are open to do. Those are effort points. Those are things that you want to make sure you take full advantage of. Um, so the first thing I have to make you aware of is there is a required assignment, an assignment you will get effort points for, but also a grade in the grade book. Uh, so let's go to modules right now, and let me point out where uh, that is located. So you will find something called Shows Knowledge Causes of the Great Depression. Let me walk you through what you're going to have to do for this assignment. This assignment is going to be due the next time class is in session for you. I believe that would be Tuesday. Um, so you are going to see there's a couple things linked here. Uh, let me start by opening the reading. So this reading gives you the seven different causes of the Great Depression. Um, notice the cause itself is bolded. There are seven of them. Your job on your iPad is probably going to end up being to split screen this reading and this chart. Okay, on the chart, you will notice there is a column for cause and a column for explanation. You are going to put each of the seven causes in the chart listed cause, right? You see there's seven boxes, put the cause in each spot, and then you're going to give a brief summary uh, of that cause. So for instance, if I was looking at overproduction and underemployment, I would put that in cause one, and then I would read about what, why overproduction and underemployment was a cause uh, of the Great Depression. And then in a couple of sentences, not this whole paragraph, right, in a sentence or two, I would summarize why overproduction and underemployment was a cause of the Great Depression. I will do that for all seven causes, but your job's not done. Notice below, you have one more thing you'll have to do. You will now take the seven causes and their explanation, and what you're going to do is you're going to determine which of those causes was the most important, the greatest cause, the most impactful cause of the Depression, and then justify why that cause was the most impactful all the way down to the least impactful or uh, least important cause that really pushed us into the Great Depression. For instance, let's say I determine that the most impactful cause is the government inaction. Let's say I think that's number one. So I would put government inaction there, and my justification might be something like, due to the government's hands-off approach uh, and not regulating the stock market or um, 
helping businesses that were struggling um, or some other things, um, this seemed to allow for the stock market to go wild and crash, banks to fail and businesses to fail, ushering in the worst economic crisis in American history, the Great Depression or something like that, right? So you would put the cause that um, you think is the most impactful, biggest reason why the Great Depression happened, and why? And you'll do that for for what you know all seven causes. You're going to rank them and justify why that, that's the ranking. Then you're going to turn this in on Canvas. You're going to turn this in here. Again, you should be making a copy of this document for yourself, right? Then you're filling it in, turning it in on Canvas. Not only will I give you effort points for doing that. And let's say it'll be probably up to 300. Um, but you'll also get a grade in the grade book for doing that well under shows knowledge. Okay. So that is something that you'll have to do for next Tuesday. Now, here's the thing. You also today are going to be um, getting another video of me. Yay. Of me explaining. Uh, some of the effects of the Great Depression. And what you're going to need to do is go to Great Depression Guided Notes, also under Modules, again labeled Great Depression Guided Notes, and you um, are going to want to probably access these guided notes. Now, I, on the video, have the slides open in front of you, and I go through these slides, okay? Um, so the slides will look something like this. They'll have different pictures on them, and I will be explaining some things going on. What your job will be is to actually make a copy of these guided notes and then fill in the important content as I speak through it. Okay. Um, I believe there are a few hard copies. Um, on the front table, so whoever is substituting for me uh, might be able to find those. Otherwise, everybody should be able to open up this, uh, make a copy on their iPads, and as I speak, and obviously if the, the video needs to be paused or, or rewind, uh, you can do that. I'm also going to hope to post that video that uh, is gonna be shown in class. I'll update this with that video so that if you really do miss out on some things, uh, you can access that video and fill out the rest of those notes. Um, then what I would like you to do is turn those notes in here so I can give you effort points for doing this, right? So again, you will be listening to a video of me explaining some things with those, those pictures from the slideshow about some of the effects that the Great Depression had on the people uh, of this country. Um, and you can see, obviously, there's going to be some things you'll fill in, you'll write in, you'll type in here on this document, right? And turn this in then when you're done. Um, as always, if you have questions, you are not understanding something, you need clarification on 30s optionals or some of this work that you're expected to be doing, uh, please email me. Uh, you can do that through um, Canvas if you need to. Um, or uh, email me and we'll set up a web, WebEx and um, talk through it or look share screens to you know show me what you need or what you're what you're struggling with and I would be happy to help you um, hopefully I'm back sooner rather than later and hopefully um, my family's okay so I hope you guys are well um, I miss you and um, hopefully we'll see each other shortly thanks guys